My name is Vahid Chitras, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning or this afternoon. Go ahead and introduce yourself for everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Uh, my name is Didi Bengoche, and I'm tuning in down from Miami, Florida. I'm Ooh, awesome. so you're all the way down over there. So let's dive into it. Entrepreneurship and business. Why is it so scary for so many people to get into business for themselves? Or how scary was it for you when you started? I'll be honest with you. It wasn't scary for me when I started. I think my personality has always been that go-getter and move forward. But I could understand that there's people that fear to do their own business. But I think it's a mindset. You know, it's, it's truly a mindset. And fear is false evidence appearing real, you know. Uh, so if somebody to... wants to start and they do have that fear, what are some of your recommendations for them? How can they move away from that and get the well, right mindset? Okay, so the right mindset would be if they're fearing to do their own business, they kind of have to make measures, calculated risk measures of how to move forward. I think that the worst fear they should have of not even doing their business and succeeding, right? Because most people, my advice with them would be, number one, they should get a coach maybe in the profession they're going to get so they can kind of safety net what they're going to do. And uh, even with SBA, they actually give mentorship in SBA. So there's a lot of appropriate ways to start a business where you can overcome your personal fear. And I think the best way is getting a coach and a mentor in the process, because there's a difference between coaching and mentoring. So I would say like coach slash mentor. So go ahead and give us the description. What's the difference between those two? Okay, so a coach is going to tell you, you know, your, the things that you have to do, right? But a mentor can go and be a little bit more personal with you, understand your lifestyle, understand maybe your mindset and structure you around there. A coach is like, go do it. You got to get this done. These are the steps. Execute them. And this is one, two, three, four, and lay it out for you. Whereas a mentor has that compassion, um, connects with you on a personal level as well and guide you through those steps. So you want a coach slash mentor. Got it. Now, here's my question. I feel like there are a lot of industries and a lot of businesses that got more glamour than other businesses. Real estate, financial services, uh, remodeling, uh, entrepreneurship in coaching and mentoring. You get to post a lot of stuff about it online on social media to let other people know. Here's my question for you. For entrepreneur, how important is it to get their message out? And what are some of the methods that you utilize to do that? Because I see a lot of people are afraid of putting the content out. Now, I know COVID-19, everybody sitting at home, they tend to do more of it. But I'm talking about like overall in general. I think social media needs to be treated just like you and I are having a conversation. It's reaching that audience and having a conversation with them. It's not just throwing them sales, right? It's actually reaching out, telling them a little bit about yourself, you know, your, your profile, whether it's Instagram. It's more of like an, a, a process where you engage with people. You have to listen. I teach the intuitive selling process. And if you're in entrepreneurship, you need to, you know, tap into that ISP because it's connecting with someone. And everybody has like an energy level. Most people come in with their guard up, right? When you're going to try to approach them with a business. So the first thing you need to establish with them is trust, right? And then confidence and then a, a plan of action where they can visualize themselves in that process, right? So that's what I teach in the ISP to any entrepreneur that I work with. You have to establish a trust. You know, people just want immediate results and things. They're not willing to do the work to cultivate that authentic relationship so my advice for that is to really approach their stories in instagram right their lives on igtv with being authentic just like you're doing you know you're you're coming out you reach out to people you know let's get together let's give information to give value to people give value to people i still get value. rejected though how do you explain that that's, you know how many people crazy. laughed at my face and said no like that's that, that, like a lot of people don't understand that. Like it was so funny the other day, 
my wife said, and a few other people, they're like, yeah, you do a lot of interviews. This is awesome. You get a lot of people. I'm like, for every single one I get, you know how many say no to me? Like, that's not the part that I put on Instagram. Maybe I should. Maybe I should take your recommendation and put it up there, right? That's that's one of the biggest things that in entrepreneurship, you got to be willing to, I don't want to call it failure. If you don't give up, it's not a failure. Exactly. I think you have to go through the valleys of life. You have to go through yeah. that cycle before you make it. And not everybody needs to agree with you or be in line with what you're doing. I agree with you. And I want to I take this opportunity to thank you and invite you to be on my podcast because I think you're someone that gives value to our community. And you. you really reach out. And it takes a lot of organization to put this together. And people just see these lies, but they don't really know what goes behind the scenes. You have a very great system. And I was very honored uh, for you thank to invite you. me thank on. You. Thank you. Like, I've had a lot of good mentors and coaches, and it's a team collaboration. We have had a lot of different individuals that have helped. As a matter of fact, I'm not that tech savvy, but the process that they have put in place, it, it's running very smooth for, for operation that we got going on is very smooth. Here's my other question. What made you write your book? What happened? Did you just what wake happened? up one morning and say, I'm going to go write a book? Or was it a gradual movement towards writing? Okay, so... I've always been inspired to write books because I love books. Think and Go Rich was one of them, okay? Um, yes, there you go. And I've always wanted to be that person that helps influence someone to take their life to another level. But with, with that said, what happened was in my business, I had a situation that blindsided me. And it's in my book if you want to read it, Chapter 2, okay? And it's also my podcast, Chapter 2. And basically, I was blindsided, and I was called by people. Instead of people, like, consoling me when something happened to me, they were asking me, like, what are we going to do? And I was like, interesting enough, I said, wow, I'm that person that really helps people out. So I decided to write a book on my success because I, I, I actually help people make six figures. That's where my success is at. I'm very outside the box. Because if you go to my page, you'll see that I have, I'm an astrologer, I'm very intuitive. So I'm not that person. I wasn't banking for seven years as an underwriter. So I've, I have fit the box, but I've always, my personality has been very eccentric. Let's just say that. And, I and what is your astrology sign? Mine is, my sun sign is in Taurus. My moon is in Aquarius. Okay. I like your lady. Yeah, my moon is in Aquarius, and um, I have, you know, there's there's a lot of elements when it comes to astrology. I'm sure that you know a little bit about my wife that. Is a, my wife is a Taurus. I'm an Aquarius. I'm a 100% believer in, in astrology. It absolutely makes sense. Now, I know a lot of people put a lot of information out there. This, this, this sign does this. I don't think you can just summarize it in no. three <laughs> paragraphs. My crazy personality. Like, you can't do that. But there are things in it that you do need to know for for each individual that it does and it's, i can prove it scientifically with the amount of mass of the moon and the pressure that's on like i could prove it to you. i've done research where i could tell you why it makes that happen but i know some people don't believe in it my wife totally she's probably watching this she's totally non believer when i met her she's a taurus i was like oh my god i'm gonna have problem with materialistic stuff she's like no nope. We've been having that problem for eight years. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what it is? You have a moon, you have a sun, you have a rising. My rising is in Gemini, right? Which is my communication skills. And my moon is in Aquarius. So we all have the 12 signs in us. And that's why I actually do, when I'm working with someone in business or an entrepreneur, I set up what I do is their birth chart. And then I help them create their business plan around the transits that are going on like, you know, people will ask me last November when I was going to put my podcast out in March 20th and November, I planned it to do March 20th because the way astrologically things were shifting, it was that more people were going to be reached. And here we are, COVID-19, right? That's when I launched my podcast. So there's a lot of value to it. And it's, a, it's actually an art and a science, but it's to the T. If I do your birth chart, I can tell you a lot about you and how... Which are your, where you I actually had to call my mom. I had to call my mom. I said, listen, what was the hour that I was, I was born? She's like, 
what's wrong with you? Are you, are, are you, are you what's wrong? With, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing is wrong. I just want to know when I was born. <laughs> She's like, what's wrong with you? What happened? I'm like, listen, it's for <laughs> studying. I'm doing this. So she was totally weirded out. It took me like 20 minutes to pull it out. Of. I'm like, when did you push me out? <laughs> when was that? Was it morning, nighttime? Like, I need to know. And so she had to go back and think about it. She's like, why are you asking these stupid questions? I'm like, it's not a stupid question. It's actually very, very important. So I know people in U.S. have a lot more, it's more accurate on timing because they record it. But when you're born in a different country, yes, they're, they're just blessed times. you being born. Nobody documents what time, what minute. You're just born. You're born on that day. That's it. So... What? One thousand percent. I could totally understand that. Yes, but yeah. So definitely the, related. So go ahead. You were talking about the book. Oh so yeah, I basically do business astrology. You know, I've been in real estate for twenty-seven years. I'm a finance guru because that's what I do with real estate. Goes hand in hand, and I love what I do, and I love helping people. So it's whether it's a buyer, it's a seller, it's an entrepreneur, it's not a realtor. That is what I do. Yeah, and that's, I love what I do. So where, where, what do you see a common denominator, maybe one or two items that you think a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with? What, where do you see that? What are those two things that keep popping up? I feel that a lot of people don't have a really solid business plan and they don't have capital. They don't really understand um, how to formulate a projection of the next 12 months along with a very solid marketing plan and they lack marketing, and it's been digital marketing right now. You know, I'm, I'm a digital marketer. You know that if you're not doing digital marketing, you're gonna miss an opportunities. You're gonna miss making money. Um, you know, right now there's uh, if you, if you're working from home right now, you're working online. There's a lot of different ways to make money right now. I was someone reached out to me yesterday on a DM, and uh, she says she's going crazy. She's with the kids at home and she wants to make money. There's thousands of jobs, Fiverr. There's, you know, you could reach out and be a VM, a virtual, a, a VA, virtual assistant. There's so many ways to make money right now. You just I mean, you could go on YouTube and start learning. Forget about that. I mean, if, if they're unemployed, I mean, they're getting unemployment. So they should be sitting home studying, building a new skills for themselves before. It's, you want to know something? It's the wrong approach that I see to the challenge. They, they want to make money, but they don't say, it, it, it's a mindset shift. It and is. unfortunately, is they don't know that they don't know. That you shouldn't be asking that question. The question will be, what can I learn how to do or what can I offer so I can exchange it for money? Not like, how do I go make money? That's like, that's like so 10, 20, 30 years ago. Like, you got to be able to, like, you know, nobody ever says that online or, or, or none of the coaches or none of the gurus approach it like that. It should be like, hey, what can I go learn online next two, three months that I'm getting unemployment? Let me build this skill so I'll never be in this situation again. If it continues or if it changes, it doesn't even have to be COVID-19. So many companies, they, they yeah. downsize, they, they take it up, they change, they merge, they file for bankruptcy. Things are changing. I mean, Neiman Marcus is filing for bankruptcy. Some stupid moron is running that company where they could have billions of dollars in profit and have to file for bankruptcy. So if you're working for Neiman Marcus or any retailer and they haven't updated themselves, we got an issue. You should be thinking. And if you're above age 50, you know the learning curve is going to be a little bit difficult because I wasn't born with the technology, these Instagram stuff. I right. sometimes act like I know what I'm doing, but a lot of times I have to do a lot of studying. Holy shit, a lot of videos behind the scenes to learn yeah. all these technologies. Calendly, oh my God, that thing took me like a week to learn. I was having a hard time with that. Yeah, like, you did it. I was like, oh my God, I'm really slow. But you know what? After a week, I got it. Now I'm King Kong of Calendly. You tell me, I know all the options in Calendly, right? You know how to so, send the links. You know how to do the invites. You know how to put the forms. Listen, it's a process. It's work. It's a process. People have to be willing to do the work, period. And it ain't going to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would have what you have and have the followers you have and have the actual live interviews. You're willing to go 10 steps ahead of everybody else, you know? Listen, and and that's a book. mindset. That's a, now, I don't know where I got it. I don't know when I got it and how I got it. 
but I'm thinking it was over a period of time associating with the right people. Like, let's just say, for example, in five years, 10 years, I decide to go to real estate. I have at least, including yourself, 10 other coaches or 10 people that are doing good in real estate that I can surround myself with that. I don't, simple concept is, I don't think it's common that, I don't think it comes to people easily that if I want to go to real estate, I got to go learn from the best. So I got to go surround myself. Like that to me is like very common, but I don't know how I got it. But you know what the other thing is also, people are not willing to invest in themselves. They want to be that six figure person, but they're not willing to invest in themselves. I get people that reach out to me, right? And I have like different programs at different tiers of price points. And then it's interesting, those that really want, want it, they don't take action. So there's a lot of different combos that people have to do. Take action, be proactive, invest in yourself. Know that whatever course or whatever time you put into watching videos, you're investing in yourself. You gotta be willing to do that. You gotta be willing to stay up. You gotta be willing to put those hours in. You gotta be willing to reach out, to get rejected. Those are the things that are going to define us in the future. 1,000. I agree with that 100%. So how do people can find you? People can go uh, to BB Bingo Chat on my instant um, handler, and I have a link, and I have a bunch of things that they can choose from, whether they're a buyer, whether they're an entrepreneur, whether they want to do law of attraction, a six-figure realtor. You know, there's a bunch of my free book is there, so they don't have to pay for it on Amazon. So I have a bunch of golden nuggets there. So they just have to choose one. Awesome. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us. Uh, I know you're going to do another live session. You're going to say Aquariuses are the best people on this planet. So I could take that and show it to my wife. Say, listen, here's Absolutely. the proof how lucky you are. So do that video. I mean, after I save the video, then you can delete it. It's okay, but at least I have it. <laughs> Actually, I want you on my podcast. So I'll connect with you on that so we can Definitely. schedule that with you. You got it. Thank you so Thank much for you. taking the time. Talk to you soon. Stay safe. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.